Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here discussing some more Warhammer combat cards. In this one we'll be taking a look at the recently announced major changes to the campaign energy and scoring systems. Now there is a blog post on the Warhammer combat cards blog talking about these changes in detail if you want to check that out. I've just summarized them here. We'll compare the old and new systems side by side. So first of all, a change to the campaign energy. So for the campaigns you get uh, these energy pips which each one allows you to play one game in the campaign. Uh, for the old system, you started out with, I think, three energy. Uh, sometimes it was four, and I think originally it was just two energy uh, that you started with. Uh, but uh, one energy typically refreshes every, I think, one and a half to two hours. Not entirely sure about the time on that either. Uh, but uh, the point is the energy replenished slowly over time so that you needed to uh, log in more frequently in order to play those games as you got the energy. Or else you would run the risk of uh, missing out on potential games that you could play. So there were two problems with this system. Number one, you just didn't really have as much freedom as to when to play the games. Like in my case, uh, the campaigns would start and end at 9 p.m. where I live in Japan, uh, which meant that it sort of encouraged me to play games right before going to bed and also right after waking up every morning, which is not the most healthy thing. Uh, the other problem is that uh, it did give players in certain time zones an advantage uh, because, you know, if the campaign ends in the middle of the night when you're sleeping, then uh, you, you simply might not be able to, to get as many games in as other players. So, they are revamping this system, and now we will be getting 12 energy at the start of the campaign, and all of that energy will refresh every 24 hours. And which means that you can get those games in anytime you like within the 24-hour period. And we'll still have campaigns that are two days long and three days long as well. Uh, so yeah, this is something I was hoping to see for a very long time. So very happy uh, that they are introducing this new way of doing campaign energy. They are also changing the way that victory points are scored. Taking a look at the, the old way, uh, victory points were simply based on the difficulty level of the campaign. You know, you start out at level one, it's very easy, and you get fewer points. And as you win more games, uh, you earn victory points. Of course, you only got the victory points for victories. If you lose a game, uh, you don't get any victory points at all, and it knocks you back two levels so that the next game that you play uh, is slightly easier. Uh, but yeah, this had, of course, a major issue because uh, we ended up with the Fast Fingers phenomenon, uh, which is that uh, a lot of players ended the campaign, especially the, the shorter, like, two-day campaigns, uh, with the exact same number of victory points, the same score. Uh, so the way that uh, the prizes were determined was whoever finished the game first just got the higher rank. And, and that's just not a fair system at all. Again, because of the difference in time zones, some people can't simply can't get the games in in order to achieve the, the highest ranks. So, uh, with the new system, uh, there are a lot more variables to take into consideration. With the scoring, uh, you'll in general be scoring a lot more victory points. Uh, previously, I don't think you'd ever get more than like 40 victory points for a single game. Now you'll be getting hundreds to thousands of victory points uh, for each match. Uh, but yeah, when you win a game in the campaign, you will earn victory points based on uh, the difficulty level, the number of enemy cards destroyed, the damage you deal to the cards. Overkill damage is excluded, so you, there's no benefit to saving up, you know, charging up a really massive attack and then destroying the enemy with just a couple HP left. Now that's not going to make any difference. It's simply damage dealt uh, to the cards that is taken into consideration for this. And then also the amount of health, uh, the percentage of health remaining on your cards at the end of the match. So the more health that your bodyguards have, the more victory points you will earn for that match. So this this makes me think that uh, maybe using some defensive traits like you know shields and fear might actually help to increase your score even further. Uh, but also uh, for losses, you no longer earn zero victory points for a loss, you still will earn some VP based on the number of cards you destroyed and the damage you dealt in the match, uh, but it is going to be much lower than the points you could earn from a victory. So just, you know, to simplify, the average loss will earn you maybe a couple hundred victory points, whereas a victory could earn you thousands. So, uh, with this new system, all players should end the campaign with a different score. Like, no two players will have the exact same score, at least the odds of that are very unlikely. So, no more fast fingers. I'm just wondering how balanced it will be between like new newer players and uh, veteran players. And I'm guessing with the new energy system, since a lot of 
players will be able to get in more games. It might actually have the consequence of campaigns becoming more competitive. So you may have to spend a little more time in order to get uh, a decent rank in the campaign, but again with the, the new speed modifier coming out soon, I think that will help with you know getting through those campaign games more quickly, so it's not quite as big of a time commitment. If you want to see the exact formula, if you like dealing with numbers and statistics, uh, this is the, the formula for uh, the victories and the, the losses uh, under this new scoring system uh, as written in the developer blog. So you can see here the, the victory points earned from a victory increase exponentially, so you'll be getting a lot more points for those victories. I guess the one thing that um, will be a little bit different with this scoring system is because you're earning some victory points for losses, uh, in the past, uh, if you knew there was no way you could win the match, you could just forfeit immediately so that you can then skip to the next match quickly. Uh, with this one, there is, I suppose, a reason to play through a match even if you know you're going to lose this, if you just want to get as many victory points as possible. It still might not be worth it though because you're not going to be getting a huge number of victory points and so it really just depends on uh, how competitive you want to be, I think. So let me know what you think of this new system. Won't really know for sure what it's like until we actually uh, test it out, but yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes. So uh, if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments, but thanks for watching and I will see you next time.